I reckon early explorers would be very jealous of the way we get around. I mean, now with GPS and vehicles that have got heated cabins, uh, it's pretty easy, I think, compared to what they were probably doing. So it's a huge area that the Australian Antarctic Territory covers. Distance between stations is equivalent to kind of Melbourne to Brisbane, so uh, it's a long way. We're operating obviously in quite low temperatures, uh, well below zero, uh, and, and windy conditions as well, and often with blown snow which impedes visibility, uh, which is pretty challenging for aircraft. summer you can be out travelling around by Zodiac boat and then in winter you can be driving a Haglands at exactly the same spot over the frozen ocean so it takes a bit to actually get your head around that as a medium. Mm -hmm. 